make some really quick videos showing some basic things in logic. And something people keep asking me for is how do you bounce a mono track uh, from a stereo track? So let's do it. First, let's make a quick stereo track. Okay, so bass is generally supposed to be mono. If you notice when I play this back, we had two lines here in the meters, so it's obviously stereo. Let's bounce that in place. Let's bounce in place here. So now we have an audio version of that same thing, and it looks mono, but if we look closer, it's actually stereo. Now I want a mono bass track for mixing. So when I go to bounce, if you notice my outputs, the only outputs I'm even able to do are uh, stereo or surround. So that's not gonna help us. So instead I'm gonna go over here, these two little rings mean stereo. When I click on them, it now becomes one ring and you notice the meters narrow. Here where it's two, now it just goes to one. And more importantly, now when I go to output, I can pick mono outs. Let's pick one. So now it's gonna go to a mono track Let's export this. So I'm gonna go over here, let's name it. So I'm gonna call this uh, base. Name the actual region as well. And we're gonna export one track as audio file. If you had a lot of tracks, you could do all tracks, but we're just gonna do one track as audio file. And wave 24 bit, that's all good. Export, okay. I should have set my end bar a little shorter, but you get the idea. So now I've got a wave file of that base. I bring it in. Looks mono. Let's see if we try to expand it out. Definitely mono. And when I play it, it is mono and centered. It's not all off to the left or off to the right. That's all you need to do. Thanks so much.